welcome back to Miss Clue, the secret of the haunted garden. You know what I missed? I missed that. I, I apparently was supposed to grab that piece of sheet music. I, I don't know why that particular piece of sheet music is important, but apparently that's what you need uh, after after you, you solve the puzzle in the fountain. What have you discovered, Jay? Yeah, yeah, getting that piece of paper triggers a conversation. I don't know why. I think I understand what Cassandra is trying to tell us. I don't think she took the dire diamonds with her when she eloped. In fact, I think they are still right here. I can't see how that could be. Everyone has looked for those for years. The answer is actually right here in Cassandra's favorite song. I don't think I understand. Here, just read the title of the song. Diamonds and roses. Yes, that was her favorite. This woman, this woman, she's just staring at me. Did she even look at the title of the song? Now do you remember the fountain and the broken red tile I found in her trunk? Yes. Well? When I colored the tiles in the fountain, it came to me. She had Jake, your gardener, break out the tiles in the red rose and hid the necklace in the fountain and then replace the tiles. Well, that does sound plausible, but I would hate to tear out the fountain if we were wrong. All we have to do is remove the red tiles and concrete under them, and we should know if the diamonds are there. I know the name of a good handyman we can get to come out and do that. I will give him a call and see if he can come first thing in the morning. Oh. That sounds like it's coming from the garden. Oh no, vague sounds coming from the garden. And yeah, I totally did not solve that mystery. Okay, so apparently the red red tiles in the fountain were replaced. And that's why I've got red tiles in my inventory somewhere. Okay, let's solve this inventory red... <laughs> no! The villain ran away! Oh no! Oh jeez, oh... Grand Hotel. I wonder if we'll have time. Wait, the culprit just left their their matchbook? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Can I chase after the culprit here? No. No. Well, let's tell Mrs. Danforth. By the way, the culprit just stole the diamonds here. How did the culprit find out? Because I didn't... Tell him. Was, the Grim Reaper was he again? listening to me? He has broken out the corner of the fountain and escaped with the diamonds. Those are a family heirloom that I would truly hate to lose. He dropped this matchbook. I bet he's staying at the Grand Hotel. I'll call a taxi. They're always very prompt. Where to, ma'am? To the Grand Hotel and step on it. We haven't a second to lose. I'll have you there in a flash. That's him. I'm sure of it. And he's running for the hotel. If we don't stop him, we'll never find him in that costume party. I don't see him anywhere. Where is he? Who are we trying to stop, Jane? <laughs> Grim Reaper escapes a valuable necklace! Trick-or-treat on Halloween night! Yay, trick-or-treating is very nice. Where to, ma'am? To the Grand Hotel and step on it. We haven't a second to lose. I'll have you there in a flash. That's him. I'm sure of it. And he's running for the hotel. <laughs> I love how if we're we supposed stop to stop him, this person we'll we can't him see. In that costume party. There we go. Wait, that worked? Click on the only thing you can click on? Okay, who are you, culprit? I bet it's old man Jenkins. Oh. You're Kenny, the gardener's little brother. My name's not Kenny. It's Ken now. I know you stole the diamond necklace, Kenny. I knew the diamond necklace was stashed in the garden. I heard my brother and your sister plotting to stash it in the garden, under the red flowers by the fountain. I never guessed they meant in the fountain. I looked there several times over the years, but never found it. When I found out you were moving, I knew it was now or never. I don't really want to see you go to jail, Kenny. So if you give the diamond necklace back now, we can just forget about this. Okay, you win. Here it is. This has turned out to be the most exciting Halloween ever. Yes, and recovering the Dia Diamonds gives me so many options. 
It would have been a real tragedy to have lost such a wonderful family heirloom. The diamonds are certainly a family treasure, but the truly special part of this Halloween is that I feel as though I have reconciled with my sister. The argument we had on my wedding day has haunted me my entire life. I can't imagine how many times I wanted to tell her how sorry I was that we had quarreled. Now all that seems behind me, and it is almost as though I am starting a new life. Yay! Bye! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween to you too! Bye! I wonder who that is. He seems rather tall for a trick-or-treater. Excuse me. Are you Mrs. Danforth? Why, yes, I am. Do you recognize me? It's been a very long time. John? Mom? Dear Nixon, what? my visit with Mrs. Danforth resulted in the most amazing Halloween ever, even though I did end up missing my train home. From the moment I arrived, I kept having this eerie feeling that someone was trying to tell me something. The more I helped Mrs. Danforth prepare for the estate sale, the stronger the perception became. I will have to write you a detailed account of all that happened and Mrs. Danforth's amazing story. But for spooky Halloweens, this one has to be tops on my list. I am almost certain that the ghost of Mrs. Danforth's sister, Cassandra, helped us solve the mystery of where the long-lost dire diamonds had been hidden. Not only that, but Mrs. Danforth was reunited with her son, John, who she thought had been lost during the war. It turns out that John was injured in France and had lost his memory. He was captured by the enemy, who took his papers and uniform, so when he escaped a few weeks later and was picked up by our boys, no one could figure out who he was. During his recovery in England, he fell in love with his nurse and they married soon after the war ended. John went on to become a doctor and has a thriving practice. His wife is quite charming and so are his six children. It was only a few weeks ago that John regained his memory and they decided to come back to the Dyer Mansion and find his family. Mrs. Danforth was so thrilled to have her son back and it seems as though the entire family had always been together. John and his wife have decided to move back to the Dyer Mansion with Mrs. Danforth. I can't think of anything more exciting than to have all the children bringing happiness to the mansion and to Mrs. Danforth. I'll write more soon. Love, Jane. Wow. Okay, so that's the end of the story. Um, the end of the game. Apparently... Oh, I didn't get enough time to read that thing. Anyway... End of, end of the game. Apparently, ghosts are real. That's that's what it is. Ghosts are real. That's the moral of the story. Um, I don't know where the ghost cat came from. I I, I don't know. And the culprit was just a random person we'd never heard before, heard of before until we actually caught him. Fantastic. So that was Miss Clue, Secret of the Haunted Garden. Not bad. You know, it's a short three chapter game. It was short, but it, it was kind of nice. A nice little Halloween treat. I'm looking forward to the third game in the series, Miss Clue, something something Pemberley. Peril at Pemberley, that's it. Peril at Pemberley. So the third game is actually going to go back to the fact that, hey, this is taking place in Pride and Prejudice. Seems interesting, so when they release that game, I'll, I'll make sure to uh, play it. For now, thank you very much for watching my video walkthrough.